Once again, caught in a glider eating tree. Ah. Hey guys, I'm Brad. This is Nighthawk Gliders. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Hey, so this weather here in central Indiana has been pretty bad this year. As far as winter goes, we get snow and then wind and then it rains and it gets all muddy and then it gets cold again and it snows and rains. Really haven't had a whole lot of time to get outdoors and fly. Today seems to be one of those better days. Still not perfect, but you know, gotta take advantage of some of it. And um, enough about the weather. Let's talk about what I've done. Uh, last night I built another American Kestrel 12, fresh off the laser cutter. And I wanted to experiment a little bit with uh, what's called washout. I, I didn't really have that in my original design and it is a very common thing to apply and it's uh, something that really benefits the airplane as far as like um, trying to help it from um, not stalling so much. It's just kind of a fine-tuned tweak. I don't know, uh, as far as experimenting with that, it could take some time. I don't know exactly how much washout would be the best. But anyway, I made one last night, made a glider, uh, came out this morning, beautiful, nice sunny day. I really should have videotaped it, but I didn't. So I got to fly it around and something strange happened and it has nothing to do with the washout, but I, I goofed up the design. Not really the design, but I, um, uh, I glued something on incorrectly. The actual tail was not right, it was misaligned. So anyway, as a result, it turned right instead of left and had a very wide turn. But, you know, that happens sometimes. You know, I'm not perfect. But anyway, I'd like to show you what I did, but um, guess what? Um, it's in a tree. <laughs> yep, got it stuck in a tree. I'm sure you could probably spot it. We'll switch it around here. Yep, there it is. Stuck up there. You know, that's what gliders do. I like to hang out in trees. So I need to find a way of, uh, it's about 20 feet high, I need to find a, a way of getting it down. And um, I brought a softball. So I'm gonna try to be careful, try to throw it up, try not to destroy it at the same time. Maybe I could bump it down, so let's give it a go. Yes, got it. It's awesome. Okay, so this was the American Kestrel 12 that was stuck in the tree. The biggest part of the problem when I built this is I accidentally, do you see that? I misaligned uh, the stabilizer here. And I think that right there, just that minor difference, um, causes this glider to actually go a little bit more right. In fact, actually it's, it's overriding my tail tilt. Uh, or competing with it uh, and it has a very wide right circle and that was uh, what it was doing when I had a nice flight up really high and it didn't want to turn so much and went right for the trees but anyway I think I'm going to fly this a little bit and probably do a little time lapse check it out That was kind of short-lived. Didn't really have enough time for a good time lapse <laughs> because, yep, stuck in the tree again. And would you know it? It's the same tree. Boy, that tree loves gliders. So, guess what? Retrieval time.
Time to go home. Mother Nature, why you gotta be a hater? <laughs>